All right, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and pause. Replay at 15 seconds. Pause the replay at 15 seconds. Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a match you're going to want to miss. Trust me when I tell you. This one has been, well, months in the making. To give you a little bit of background information, because this is significant and you may not know, over the last couple of days, in fact, I'll go all the way back, several months ago, uh, Merciful BS, or The Legend, depending on which uh, name he decides to go by, decided he wanted to put up an audio on our website for tryouts, and we did, and it got it, mild reviews, maybe about 100 downloads. So we decided we were going to go ahead and carry a couple of his replays, see how it went, his commentaries. Well, after the second one, people just weren't responding to it, and one thing that kept on coming up was the fact that he kept using... Uh, you know, formats that were very similar to my catchphrases like, you know, players using this drawings, players in this corner, you know, doing a couple of the commercials, doing, you know, stuff like that, uh, taking away, you know, things that I said. And one of the things that was mentioned to him and explained was, you have to have your own gimmick, you have to have your own style. Trying to copy somebody else's doesn't get you noticed, it gets you uh, basically flamed. Well, he didn't like that, and his view was, we, meaning me, Silk, and specifically, you know, specifically me and Silk and Clamogy, that we should be appreciative that he decided to bring his commentaries to us, that he poured all that work into it and put them on our site, that we should be grateful that he decided to do commentaries for us and not for somebody else. I then explained to him that he should be grateful that we decided to give him a chance and put on the website in the first place, and we were only trying to really help him by telling him, you can't copy somebody else, it doesn't work. Well, his comment then was, well, I'll tell you what, I'll go to Warcraft Replays because they don't have anything going on there as far as audios. They'll, and this is a quote, folks, they will worship me there because I'm better than any shit they've got. So he did. He left and he did get posted on Warcraft Replays and that was fine. You know, I didn't hear any more of him and I haven't had to. Well, recently he got fired from Warcraft Replays again because nobody was paying attention to him. Uh, nobody was listening to his audios when he did decide to do them. And he had some kind of pissing match with Wolf. And I posted, well, you know what? This is no different than the shit you pulled with me. So then he goes on to say that basically uh, I caused him trouble and still caused him trouble and Dimension caused him trouble and Wolf caused him trouble. And I pointed out, now, Merciful, does it make sense that all four of us are out to get you and we have nothing to do with our times? We wake up in the morning saying, you know what, Emp, I wonder what I can do to fuck over to uh, Merciful this morning. Oh, I know. I'll make sure he doesn't get noticed on his own audios. Or could it be that you have just a stinking crappy ass attitude that you can't take any kind of help, that you have no respect for authority, and the fact that you don't get all the recognition you deserve and get your little butt pampered and make sure that everybody gives Merciful a special hug to know that he is well appreciated and liked? Or could it be that, yes, you have just a stinking crappy ass attitude? Well, now, which makes more sense to you, ladies and gentlemen? Of course, he gets into a flame match, and he calls me this, and my fiancé that, and our site this, and he slams Wolf, and he slams Warcraft replays, and he slams people, really endearing himself to the hearts of many. And why I tell you what was funny was the fact that throughout all this, people were posting saying, oh, who's merciful? Who the hell's merciful? I've never even heard of the guy. And here, he'd be an audio staff for months at Warcraft replays. Nobody had a clue who this guy was. Even Wolf, the guy who runs the damn site, said, I didn't even know who this guy was until three days ago. If that's not a slap in the face, I don't know what it is. It's bad enough to not get recognized or not get appreciated, I guess, for all the hard work. But when nobody even knows you're there... Anyways, the end result was he challenged me to a one-on-one. -on -one. Well, of course, as soon as I agreed, now he begins to panic. Uh, uh, well, well, he's a math hacker! Not sure where that came from, but he's a math hacker, or, or he'll have somebody play for him. By the way, I'd like to send a uh, secret shout-out to uh, Death Lizard and Z.A. Pepe uh, and Warsong for helping to play Orc for me. Uh, all three of you guys tag-teamed, uh, taking turns, microing for me. I appreciate that. Uh, uh, Xna on the uh, posting A of the replay A. Uh, it's just between us guys, okay? <clears throat> so, and I thought that was awfully pathetic. Um, <laughs> Anyways, um, so I found it very annoying that he'd already started the excuse craft with the map hacking, and then he accused me of finding a player. Uh, Cyan, I'd like to thank you, too, for uh, microing or showing me the uh, dual racks or grunt rush. That was great. Excellent, man. Good job. Um, where he he claims that I would find somebody else to play for me, that I wouldn't actually uh, go head-to-head -head with him, that it would be somebody else playing my account, like I would trust anybody with my accounts. But I will say one thing.
If I had actually asked some other Gosu Lee player to play, I'm sure I could have found somebody who would agree to do that. I have enough friends and enough goodwill and enough uh, people who not, not just owe me favors, but like to do that kind of thing and would more than help, more than happy to help out. Unfortunately for Merciful's excuse, I made sure I did this in front of as many observers as I can in Clan Ops, in front of about 30 people. And how it is is I logged in as my Emperor 1G account. And he was there, and of course, immediately he says, no, 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 after messaging him to go ahead and play. He's like, no, I want you to play on your other Emperor account, because I want you, so there's no denying it. So I said, fine. I immediately get off and come back as with my Emperor underscore uh, account, which is my very first one on Reign of Chaos, and the one I'm currently using on the Frozen Throne. He then says, fine, fine, we'll play, we'll play, and I want full observers. Hey, fine with me. Now, at this point, not only is no ghost to player that I know of, even in Battle.net, but even on AIM, and of course people can check, there's no possible way that somebody could have hopped on my account, either one account, and known all the passwords to all my accounts in a split second, changing from one account to another. It's just not possible. But hey, that's okay. So we decided we're going to go ahead and play this game, and they decided to go Twisted Meadows when we enter the game, and that's where we find ourselves today, folks. So if you've gone ahead and saved the replay at 15 seconds and pause it, Excellent. If you didn't, your name is Merciful BS because you have the brain the size of a brick. Uh, I wish we had kind of a big brain, but no brain activity. It, yeah! If you did, congratulations. You're kind of like me. You can follow basic elementary instructions. In either case, let's get started. Ladies and gentlemen... Welcome to the main event! Let's get ready to rumble! This is Emperor of Clan Imperial Guard coming to you from my plot studio here in Cleveland, Ohio. It's the grudge match of the week, folks. It's me, Emperor versus Merciful BS. It's an audio commentator's blood and guts match. It's up next on the Clan Imperial Guard of Warcraft Gaming Radio Network. All right, ladies and gentlemen, go ahead and unpause the replay. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it, and now. Okay, the game has just begun. Uh, we're at the point where Merciful has already gone on to say that uh, he's yelling at me because I chose to play Orc instead of going random because I am traditionally a random player. Uh, we're watching the replay that uh, was taken from one of the observer's point of views because I was not obviously privy to what they were saying during the match, and I find that much more interesting than the replay that uh, I saved. Luckily for me, the last save thing kicked in, um, where I can't see what the observers are, are talking about. So, Ready, or a.k.a. Merciful BS at this point, has asked me to play 2 of 3. I said, no, I want to play 1. And he's like, no, no, I want to play 2 of 3. And I said, are you afraid you'll lose? He said, no. And it, it, obviously, it sure sounds like that. Anyways, we're just going to go by saying emperors and emperor this, emperor that, instead of myself. Because it just seems really, really weird. That's one of the reasons why I don't normally do my own replays, because it's just stupid. On my point of view, because it just gets me mixed up. Anyways, Emperor's at the upper left-hand corner. Uh, he's playing Orc. He's in the red trunks. In the bottom left-hand corner is Satan on Earth himself, Merciful BS, in the blue trunks. This guy is a real winner, ladies and gentlemen. Trust me when I tell you. So, uh, a bit of a lag there. Just kicked in, and uh, they're talking about build orders. and They're t talking about who should quit and who not. Anyways, Reddy's going with a death line at this point. Checking in on Emperor. He's con finished constructing his altar, as well as the bro going with a uh, farseer. Barracks haven't just popped up, so we now he's got that. People ask him why they're playing in the first place. Cac Master says, because everyone hates Emperor. Well, that's interesting. Thanks, Cac. Love you too, buddy. Drinks. Friday? You and me. We'll talk. Call me. All right. Uh, Thrawn saying everyone hates Emp. Okay, then I hope Rat wins. That's cool. you got to support a guy named Rat, don't you? Anyways, waiting for the Death Knight to go ahead and deploy. It's at three quarters. Anyways, I'd like to tell you this game is brought to you by the uh, Merciful BS Book of Lame Warcraft Excuses. You can use these excuses to explain your loss and lack of skill, like, yeah, if you had somebody uh, playing for you uh, on your account, or you're a map hacker, man, you're a cheater, you're a map hacker. Or, or I always love this one. I had lag, man. And oh, look, Reddy's talking. Lag your way? Of course not. I'm not lagging. Neither is anybody else. Oh, uh, lag? You, I, I lagged. 
I'd like to thank all our sponsors for making this game possible. You can pick up the Immersal BS uh, Book of Lame Warcraft Excuses right next door to the Clan Intel uh, Book of Lame Hacking Excuses. Actually, uh, we're going to have to make a legitimate sponsor of that one. It's kind of off the uh, cuff. Anyways, Emperor's now found his opponent.